Chapter 3 Mr. Wonka and the Indian Prince Prince Pondicherry wrote a letter to Mr. Willy Wonka, said Grandpa Joe, and asked him to come all the way out to India and build him a colossal palace entirely out of chocolate. Did Mr. Wonka do it, Grandpa? He did indeed. And what a palace it was. It had 100 rooms and everything was made of either dark or light chocolate. The bricks were chocolate and the cement holding them together was chocolate and the windows were chocolate, and all the walls and ceilings were made of chocolate. So were the carpets and the pictures and the furniture and the beds. And when you turned on the taps in the bathroom, hot chocolate came pouring out. When it was all finished, Mr. Wonka said to Pondicherry, I warned you, though, it won't last very long, so you better start eating it right away. Nonsense, shouted the prince. I'm, I'm not going to eat my palace. I'm not even going to nibble the staircase or lick the walls. I'm going to live in it. But Mr. Wonka was right, of course, because soon after this, there came a very hot day with a boiling sun, and the whole palace began to melt, and then it sinks slowly to the ground, and the crazy prince, who was dozing in the living room at the time, woke up to find himself swimming around in a huge brown sticky lake of chocolate. Little Charlie sat very still on the edge of the bed, staring at his grandfather. Charlie's face was bright, and his eyes were stretched so wide you could see the whites all around. Is all this really true, he asked, or are you pulling my leg? It's true, cried all four of the old people at once. Of course it's true. Ask anyone you like.